Yeah, let's deal with this first. Get moving before he reaches out with those long arms. Load. Now switch around. And go get that last. Ah, get over here, scale jug. Ah. <laughs> oh, this has potential. Come on, slime room. Give me a slime room. There we go. That's all I needed right there. And we got another one. And we got another one. <laughs> Alright, this is where I want to find all the hulks and Kevlar hulks. And another stair. That's helpful. Alright, let's um, see if we can get his attention. Ah, enjoy your sliming. Oh, hey, you got tricky on me? You got tricky on me. <laughs> there we go. And here we go when they start getting bigger and bigger. Let's just close that up. We'll leave him in there for now so I don't have to deal with it. Although it'll use up the other slime pits, but that's, that's fine. All right, so we got a barracks and doors there, there, and there. But we got another stairs down also. Yep. All right, any noise over here? No noise. Ooh. And there's something in here. Or there was. <laughs> They broke the computer, so I've got to, uh, I gotta use my pickaxe. Alright. Nothing. Alright, other doors are fine. A lot of nothing. Whoa. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side here. <laughs> I was going to say, that would look weird. A lot of nothing again. <laughs> All right, any noise in here? Might be a turret still. Yep. Alright, wield EMP grenade. Activate EMP. Peek. Throw EMP. Collect ammo. All right, what do we got? Don't care, don't care, don't care. More ammo. Yeah, don't care, don't care, don't care. Three MREs. Looks like three MREs is going to be our, uh, our reward for this one. Oh, well. I'm seeing very, very little RivTech stuff down here for some reason. Chunks, maple sausage, and macaroni marinara. Nine rounds, huh? Nah, I'm gonna bother. Never gonna fire through the the one the ammo I've got for it. Yeah, but food's never really a problem, so <clears throat> it's a minor convenience help, but. Um... <clears throat> 
food's kind of a non-issue. Alright, so I'm not going to bother lugging any ammo, so let's go find out what that next downstairs looks like. Alright, we're on floor six, heading to seven. I guess we know what that is. Hey there, Mr. Turrets. Let's go, uh... And another turret. Nothing useful. Another turret. <laughs> Alright, we got some slimes we can drop some bad guys into. This is going to be a uh, conveyor room. This is the side room for the conveyor room. There's the rotary evaporator. Another one of the... Uh, Tools you need for serum and mutagen production. Mutagen and serum. <laughs> Pretty nice little hall right there. Ah, uh, V8 will take. And shelled almonds will take. Ah, it can be a room. Mm -hmm. I've already gotten. Still no downstairs found. Go uh, this way. X that connects back to the room we were just in. Another one of these. Ooh, corrosive. He could be a bit of a problem. Whoops. <laughs> hey, let's uh let's let's wield a gun. Was that a was that a necro? Oh, necro. Necro must die. Then corrosive must die. Ah, who is left? Grappler? Way over there. Been lagged out pretty bad from the uh, turret that's firing at something over there. I'm not sure what. It had already killed what was in there just a short bit ago. Shouldn't have revived that quickly. Alright. <clears throat> Everything's pulped. Take the solder for oops. We're actually using quite a bit of that. Uh still no stairs down. There we go. All right, teleporter slime pits and dissector. We got our choice of. Location aids. Reset my movement points. Peak. Check down before he could yank my gun again. 
We are on floor eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird. Science car just laying around. Huh. I remember last time I saw a science car just laying in that kind of a location. Lots of slime pits for us. Okay. All four directions, huh? Who burnt out? This is another one of those turret locations right there. Uh, yay, no turret. Cranial flashlights. Um, get back. I want to explore as close to the stairs as possible, so check each of the adjacent rooms, hoping we find another, another down. Although we're getting to the point where I'm not sure where the bottom is. This might be the bottom right here. First time I've done a lab complex, so I don't know 100% how deep it is. I don't care about mutagen samples. Switch. They have since disappeared, apparently. I've yet to see a single um, robot grenade chucker down here. So, Black Ops Zombie. That's a different one. I haven't seen one of those in here so far. Seen them before, just not in here. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, back up. Now. 
Alright, that's a pretty interesting group. Back in there, unless I blow through the door. Or I'll just shoot him through the door, I guess. Twenty-nine out of fifty this time, huh? wanted to give me barrets. Unload the gas mask. I'll leave the bodies for now. And I think I think I'm done trying to uh, hack this computer. Too many times, even at 15 intelligence and 8 computer skill, it's failing and I'm getting a hefty shock. And I can't afford that. So... We'll just uh, keep manufacturing EMP grenades for the turrets that are in my way. Like that one. <laughs> Uh-oh, not sure that one went to the right place. Nope. <laughs> All right, come on. One more try. That one might have failed, too. God dang it. Oh, they're not going off. Lovely. That problem again. Do, 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 do. Should have checked before I threw that second one. The first one was in range, I think. Just the EMP grenades, not or any explosive, not counting down problem again. This one's um. Pretty tough for the uh, the guys working on the game to actually crack down. <laughs> the reason being that um, reloading fixes the problem, so nobody can send them a save file that reproduces it, because the act of making the save and sending it, as soon as they reload the save file, it's working again. The problem's gone. There's nothing for them to investigate. So <laughs> they have to uh, independently try to get it to happen in their own game through whatever reason it's occurring, and then try to figure it out without having a save file option available they can pass around. So, my sympathies. <laughs> but if you run into this problem where you've got a, an explosive device that's not counting down when it's not in your hand, then um, just save, reload, and the, it should work again after the reload. So, we're going to uh, we're going to spawn in a replacement EMP grenade because it should have worked the first time. All right, just the one. I had two, I used one, it didn't count down. I thought I didn't get it in the right spot. And then I threw a second one, which either one of them would have killed it. All right, so turrets down, what do we got? Don't care, whole bunch of I don't care. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently we're in the magical land of MREs. Um, stream didn't stop on my end. I got no notifications of any kind of a problem or any kind of disconnect. <clears throat> Usually I, I know about it when it goes boom.
I don't know then. And nothing on the other side. Alright, how many rounds have I got still? Eh, still plenty. Bother to unload one of those. So, now time to dissect some corpses. That is the bio operator, and here we got the other two. I I don't think Black Ops have have a possibility. Failed twice. Ah, head alloy. So we finally got something different. <laughs> we got a head alloy plating. I can really, really, really use that, <laughs> given the problems we're having. Keeping our head healthy. Alright, we'll just pull this other guy. I don't know if he had something or not. But it's good to know. We uh, That's like the 10th, no, 11th or 12th bio operator. It's been like 5 Mark II power storage. 6 or 7 double fails. And then finally we just got one extra, or a different item. Oh, uh, let's keep... The MREs for now, we'll just have these on the lens. And we'll save the eight. Uh, I did get some feedback. You can go to Reddit, and I posted a Reddit thread asking about the healing calculations if you want the full details. But essentially what's happening is there's a bit of an odd wrinkle in the calculation formulas where if it's a not... If, if you're base heal rate after all of the numbers get monkeyed down, if it's not an integer, meaning it's not a whole number one, two, three, whatever, if it's like 0.3, then there's a seven depending on what the number is, there's a large chance it's going to get rounded down to zero so because I've got imperceptive healer the numbers are getting scrunched down to such a small number that the, the the likelihood I'm going to get any healing at all is really small. So I'm only getting those ones on the head, for example. The body is getting more than the head because it has an inherent multiplier that's greater than the one the head has. I don't know if I don't know all the multipliers, but for the head and then the body, the head has a 1.5 multiplier and the torso has a 2.5 multiplier. So because of that, the head is or the torso is inching its way up above the minimum needed to make sure that those rounding errors that are occurring are uh, still allowing it to get to 1.0, so I can actually get a point of healing. So that's why it's happening a lot more often for the torso. But way many times, because the the numbers and the um, the modifiers and the values uh, are so low, the head hit point when the healing tick comes around, it's getting shifted back to a zero. So that, that's why there's such a distinction between the torso and the head in uh, the healing rates. So it's just a matter in this particular case of my numbers are so small because of my starting strength and because of um, the imperceptive healer trait and so on that uh, it, it just creates this really weird kind of an, it's kind of an edge case situation. You gotta be playing a pretty bad character like I am to uh, really encounter this to the really irritating degree that I'm hitting it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if new new comments have hit that that message or not. But um, that's kind of what's going on. So whether anything happens with it, I don't know. It's just going to sleep and having my head heal one point while my body heals 11 is just rage-inducingly <laughs> crazy. So I did, uh, I did note in that post exactly what healing I got on Monday. We, we slept eight times six out of the eight times we got one single hit point on the head I think we got a four a two and all the other ones are ones <laughs> so I mean come on <laughs> even with imperceptive healer and flimsy and six strength and so on eight hours of sleep with bandaging with antiseptic and you get one hit point six out of eight times uh, <laughs> please find some kind of a formula adjustment that will keep that that from happening <laughs> So, that's basically what's happening. It's just the way the calculations are set up. As you as the numbers get smaller and the rounding is occurring, um, I'm basically getting, getting rounded out of any healing, <laughs> is what's happening. Alright, uh, we're still looking for a stairs down. So we cleared a barracks, and the only way I've got to go now 
Let's see here. Goodies. Make a centrifuge. They're one of the items for our mutagens. And I don't care about that. Still no way down. Starting to run out of directions. <clears throat> There we go. Cool. All right. So we got another stair down, not too far off. That'll take us to nine. <laughs> it can only go to ten. Ten's the max. So, peak. Whoa! Somebody waiting for me. Kevlar zombie. I don't have my gun out either. A little worried if uh, something else shows up here. Oh, you guys gonna play that weird? I like hiding in the corner more than I like chasing humans thing. Apparently. Ah, right, we're on floor nine. I wasn't kidding when I uh, told you guys when we first came in here this is going to be a possibility. Uh, let's unpack an MRE. What do you think? Oh, we got two macaroni marinara. We'll do that one. Really? <laughs> really? Overweight again? Southeast, you hear hostile detected. Well, wonder what that means. Alright, that's about maybe oh this is one of those half rooms. Maybe it maybe it won't go north further and we have a full room here. So door here. Yeah, it could be just caddy corner. So we might have a finale room there. Um uh, but let's have our uh, our marinara. And we'll take our dessert back with us. Got a porter. And... Oh, hey there, buddy. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Lock him in for the moment. Let's check out this other room real quick. The alternate three by three. I'm gonna try to dissect when I. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Ten floors. All right. Well, there you go. Mystery solved. Not going to go any lower than that one. Ten floor central lab complex. Now at least I can die and say, well, we made it to the bottom of a central lab complex. Cross it off the bucket list. I don't have that many things left on my bucket list. Finding and exploring one of these was one of the very few remaining things. So, 
This room right here could be a finale room, and now I do have uh, some goo pits I can lead that Kevlar zombie into. Or Kevlar Hulk, I mean. Um, deal with that first. So, fairly short trip down the hallway. Hopefully I don't get immediately hit by him. Where are you? Uh, bio... Let's shoot the bio while we wait for the hit. Is he dead or did he step around the corner? <laughs> I lost... What, what the hell happened there? Well, he's not dead. Where did Mr. Bio go? <laughs> did he step down to here? I'm a little confused. Where's my, where's my bio? Is that him? No, that's my MRE. Uh, apparently I used a teleport round. <laughs> I shot him with a, a teleport round. Huh. Did uh, Kevlar Hulk punt him somewhere? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see if he shows up again. No, don't get all distracted by that. Come on. I don't want to have to shoot you. He <laughs> can't get through the bed. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. Come on. There you go. I'm going to try to lead you down to this one instead. i got to hope he lines up on it. Uh, we, we better go in here instead. There we go. Come on. Alright, Kevlar Hulk taken care of. Now, the mystery of the teleporting... There he is. He did somehow skip down there. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is the uh, the, the Kevlar Hulk gave him a push. Because <laughs> I was shooting at him and then he was gone. Nothing interesting on the corpse. And the doors are all open, so I've got... Path all the way in. Reload. Alright, anything else gonna be in here? Yep, Skell Jug. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I could probably just ignore him. He might come out after me. He's probably just gonna stay there in that corner, though. What do we got? Flamethrower. Good old Rivtech flamethrower. Scar drum magazine. 100 round 8x40 mag. Some uh, more 5.56. Lots of 5.56. Well, lots being <laughs> relative, I guess. Hmm. Thanks for the bandage. All right. Um, sure. Give me a re up on that. Take an 8x40 mag, 100 rounds. Hold five, Don't care about that. Hmm. A nearly full Rivtech flamethrower. <laughs> I just, I, I, I guess I need to take it. <laughs> it's gonna make me way overweight. All right, please don't be anything hiding in here. I finish this out and leave without having to deal with that guy. Yeah. All right, we can get out of here. All right, so free barracks? Well, not quite free. Nah, there's no point to kill the jug. Why bother? He's just going to sit in his corner. Okay. 
So we are on uh, floor nine. We have a stairs down to floor 10. We, I think, have a finale room. If not here, then the room right below it. I'm overweight. I think it's time to dump some gear here. Including the pickaxe and a whole mess of MREs. All right, get me back underweight. We will go ahead and dissect. Failed, failed. I wonder if that was the scale jug coming through the wall. Oop, apparently he's just making a mess in the bedroom. All right, so <clears throat> let's go. Uh, not really moving far, but uh, go up here, dummy. All right, let's peek this next room, see if I get shot instantly by a uh, turret or a sec bot. Well, that's not looking like a finale room to me. Spider bots that are dead. Man hack that's almost dead. Again, this is one of those rooms you got to be careful of. Some of the configurations can have turrets hiding in these corners of the, uh, the area, so be cautious. All right, nothing I care about in the crates. <clears throat> <laughs> like I said, gotta watch your corners. Doors and corners will get you. Alright, back off from there. I got what, one EMP left? That's not gonna be enough to clear a finale room if we get one. Let's um, note this. Dirt trap in the corner. Go ahead and put another uh, Arker down. stair down. Problem being that um, dirt's there, so I don't have a lot of room to play to kind of look down in this next room. Not a finale room. Hmm. So, I need to shoot this to get rid of it, but I've got other directions I can already go, and we've already got it down, so let's, let's back off. Let's uh, put another marker down. Alright. Floor 10. Let's do it. Peek. 
<laughs> finale room. <laughs> it's empty. It's the laser gun finale room, and it's empty. Huh. This can be one of those things where, you, where as soon as you step down, the turrets deploy up out of the ground and shred you. <laughs> ah, more ID cards. So there's all the laser guns. I hate laser guns. Take the hydrogen canister. Guess we'll take yes. What is the PPA five? I don't remember that. Portable Plasma Accelerator Model 5, developed by Lockheed Martin Corp. The device uses highly advanced capacitor banks to create a torus of superheated hydrogen plasma and accelerate it to incredible speed. Designed to take down heavy vehicles and was expected to fully enter U.S. Army service not long before the capital. Huh. 25 rounds of solid hydrogen per shot, huh? And I get two, what is it, 50 hydrogen per canister or whatever? And it's got to use uh, the UPS. High armor piercing, low range. Well, oh. why do I hate laser guns? Eh, just too too finicky, too funky to deal with. <clears throat> you got to also have UPS. You got to have. Uh, hydrogen sometimes you gotta have it's just too many things you gotta have to use them and I've never been impressed with their their actual damage output when you've got uh, rifles that'll do the same or better um, and I just never really cared so go crazy if you like them uh, just not something I usually care about <clears throat> But also realize I don't just keep playing and playing and playing a single run and accumulating more and more stuff. I have very specific challenge goals. So usually I accomplish those and I kill the character and we're done. So I, I don't usually mess around, just run around accumulating and accumulating stuff. So the number of times where I find these and find the UPS and get enough power available to make them useful and so on is just not very often. So I, I basically just never even bother. Same thing with the quantum solar panel. It's an awesome thing. It's an awesome item, but um, I've just my my usage of solar panels is basically gone completely away by this point. I just don't bother anymore. Just find a storage battery that's full, stick it in your vehicle. There. <laughs> why why bother with solar panels? <clears throat> so, we'll mark it. Note. Laser finale cleared. But I'm not going to take the rest of this stuff with me. Like I said, I'll just never use it. Okay, so we're on uh, level 10. As far as I know, it's not possible to go lower than 10. I've had a few broken labs uh, that went down this far, and um, they had stairs that said they would go down, but you couldn't actually use them. You get some kind of a message, forget what it was, but you bounce. So we can't go any lower. Whether there's more than one finale on this floor, who knows? Let's let's find out. Well. <laughs> huh. What am I thinking? Floor 10 is going to be, if it's got more than one finale, it's going to be completely disconnected from each other. Which ones we got? Prisoner containment. Prisoner containment. And a barracks. Alright, so two prisoner containments and a barracks. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the prisoner containments first. They are fairly easy unless they've got that problem. <laughs> Nothing, anything in the medical section, nothing in the medical section. Alright, well that one was pretty easy. Uh, 
The only reason I come in here really is for the chance at the scientists. Usually there's a fairly high probability of a couple of scientists in this front room. It's really, at this point, the only reason I come in here. When I check this counter here, because there's a fairly high chance of some drugs. That's it. The only other room that's of any interest in this entire place is this back corner, but you got to go through this door, then you've got to hack or you got to pickaxe or jackhammer your way in or teleport into this room. And it's got two lockers and I forget what in the back corner, but um, chance of drugs, but it's so seldom that I ever gotten anything useful out of it. I tried dozens of times and just never ever got anything I cared about, so I, I don't even bother going in there anymore. So yeah, that shelf and scientists. Other than that, I just leave. So that was pretty anticlimactic. We got noise in this one. What kind of noise? It's important to know. Oh, look at that! Mechanical whirring! We finally got a robot grenade chucker! Huh. Huh. I'm gonna think about that. There's no way for me to avoid to shoot it without being in light, because there's just a million lights in all the rooms. Single standard grenade would kill me. I can usually get these things killed before they get more than a grenade or two off, but it can be pretty dangerous. <clears throat> hmm. Kinda also comes down to how many see me at once. We do have a stair I can immediately use. Actually, let's find out where this goes. Alright, no problem there. So we do have an escape route there. Knocking the lights out and closing the door doesn't help because as soon as I open the door, I'm immediately gonna get saturated in light again. <laughs> so possible I could hide in a corner and be a little bit out of sight, but I can do that anyway. So, that's the problem with this super lighted area is that you can knock the lights out in your spot, but you can't knock the lights out on the other side and you're going to get lit up. <laughs> so, that's why I consider the uh, overwhelming amount of lights in the central lab one of the things that make this more difficult. I think I'm just going to pop the door and we're going we're gonna to take our chance. <clears throat> All right, so step to the side, fire, fire, down it goes. Move up. Oh, we've got a portal. None over there. Could still be one trundling around in the rubble over there. There's some uh, some some hacks. Got an awful lot of electronics and computer skill, <laughs> so I probably wouldn't fail, but I'm always just desperately afraid I'm going to blow myself up when the hack does something stupid. So I'm, I can never bring myself to actually use these things. Another auto mag. Unload. Whoops. What did I just unload? <laughs> Reload. Alright. <clears throat> Uh, I need to take a real quick break. I'll be back with you guys here in just a couple quick minutes. Uh, what are we at? Coming up on three hours. Uh, let me go ahead and take one of my normal breaks. I'll be gone uh, five minutes or so while I stretch and get a new glass of water. So I'll be back with you folks here in just...
Still muted? Yeah, well. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything important. Oh, I was just talking about uh, that I was probably, I'm really thinking of stopping actually checking these lockers. Uh, there's nothing left in the loot tables that I care about. The only thing they might have would be some more of the uh, martial arts styles, but this person's never going to go into melee really anyway, so. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really leaning towards that. So if it's not convenient, I'm just going to forget them. So I'm not going to go down and check this hallway. Uh, stop running. No noise. Pickaxe. Let's go ahead and pickaxe. Oops, I left my pickaxe. Uh, that's right, I forgot I dropped all that stuff. Um, <laughs> do I dare take the chance of that stupid thing again? Oh, please don't shock me. Please don't shock me. Hey, it didn't shock me. All right. Looks like it's going to be just another MRE run. <laughs> don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff. 5x50 ammo to go with the RM-232. Yeah, it's another taco run. Come on, man. Jeez. Once again, we're just having terrible luck with the, uh, the RivTech stuff. Um, sure. Give me that and those. Unload and activate my 232. Unload 232. Unload the magazine. Reload. Um, here you reload there. And reload there. Alright, so now we've got 100 rounds in our RM232. <laughs> so exciting. Alright, now we're overweight again, which means we're going to be even double overweight when we get back to my gear I left behind. But that fully clears out this corner of floor 10. Alright, we're done here. So, I, I'm pretty sure that's not the end of floor 10. I think there's going to be... From floor 9 or even from higher up, there's going to be other finales, possibly, on floor 10. That's what I suspect. This is, what, the fourth? Third finale? Fourth finale? I've lost track now. Third or fourth. Alright, let's uh, pop back upstairs. That other stair was there. But on this floor, we haven't traveled much yet. But we've got a route to the bottom. Now I gotta decide. Actually, where did I where did I leave all my stuff? Um, I've lost track of where I left all that that stuff. What did I do with my gear? Uh, over there in the hallway. That's right. No. Yeah, by the by the stairs. There we go. All right. How heavy is that making me? 111. That's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> Out of 81, actually, is pretty bad. Alright, so this is the floor we're currently exploring. We've got... No way to go there. Unknown, 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 unknown. Lots of unknowns. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave... Uh, Tired yet? Yeah, let's let's. Stop. 
Alright, let's keep looking around. Oh, my favorite place. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Arg. Oh, it's a crawler. Okay, cool. Go by a crawler. Antiseptic! Better not also be a shock zombie in that southern room. It's usually a crawler or a shock zombie. If I had a crawler in one room and a shock zombie here. <laughs> Alright, nope. Yay! Alright, so this place is done. I can't go anywhere but go back to the east. So this was the turret area here that I had to worry about. I got no way to get to it from this side. Maybe I can get to it from that side. If not, we're going to have to EMP that turret. If we can get down to that spot. Can handle. 